Okay, so welcome back. And we're gonna move on and spray the uh, acrylic dropper paints now. And uh, I'm using 226, uh, which is the uh, US Interior uh, Green. Um, so we need to spray inside the fuselage here, uh, on the other half, and then of course our cockpit tub. So all I've done is decant some of the paint into my mixing uh, pot here and literally just a couple of drops of thinner should be enough, I think, to uh, do the job. We'll just get that mixed up. I don't want this too thin, um, equally not too thick either. So something around semi-skim milk should do, uh, do the trick, I reckon. Um, so I'm just having a little look at that now. It doesn't seem too bad. So let's just clean that off. And <clears throat> pop that in the airbrush. So you don't really need a huge amount for this. So what I tend to, that's partly why I don't use a, a dropper. Sometimes you can just use a, like a pipette to take the paint and um, put it in uh, the uh, cup, but I find you end up wasting quite a bit. So about 10 to 15 centimeters, something like that. And um, we'll start to just spray that on. Uh, one half uh, in there. Let's have a look at the uh, cockpit tub now. See what we can do here. I think the trick with this um, paint is just to gradually build it up. Try not to throw it on in a big wet coat. If you try and do that, you find it kind of starts to um, form little tiny globules uh, which and doesn't spray with a nice even coat. But if you just take your time, just like we've done here, build that, uh, build the effect up, you get a really nice smooth um, uh, lay down of the paint, which is exactly what we've got there. So that's, uh, that's our tub. Let's just have a little look at the other side, the fuselage. I noticed that the forward section around the wheelbase is um, to be, <clears throat> I think it's 129, um, yeah, which is that grey colour, which we'll uh, see if we can uh, add later. We just need to let this dry, so I'll give this a good couple of hours before thinking of coming back and adding, uh, masking it and then adding another colour. So there we go. Nice, uh, nice and smooth, nice and simple. Um, that's spraying with these humble dropper paints. Okay, so we need to paint the forward inner areas uh, one, two, nine. Uh, not currently available, but but I'm sure we'll be in due course. So picking one of the dropper paints that's close to it. Um, here we've got um, actually interesting enough. The prime the primer is not far off one, two, nine. You could certainly use that, and in fact that's what we're going to do uh, today. So we're going to spray that. So what we need to do is just mark out the areas here and look at the instructions. It gives you a very clear indication as to what's 129 and then the rear, of course, copper area is 126. So all I've done here is cut some tape and we've just got to mask those off so that we don't get paint where it's not required. Like so, which is great. <clears throat> um, also useful to pick up anything else that's one, two, nine. So for the moment, what we'll do is we'll give um, the undercarriage uh, unit that uh, I've assembled here, we'll paint that one, two, nine, then I'll just pick out um, a couple of areas that are a darker gray, black color later. 
uh, and we'll also do the little doors as well. Um, so we've given this a really good shake. That shake, that's one of the first things to remember. The other thing to remember is don't forget, um, <clears throat> Humbrol um, acrylic dropper paints definitely spray better onto prime surface. So use this primer. Uh, essentially I, I would before um, spraying the paint directly onto the plastic. You may remember what we did here was we cleaned the plastic and then I sprayed the green on and it went down quite quite nicely. It goes down even better if you put the, the primer down first. So um, nonetheless, uh, good to go. So let's just get our little mixing cup here, put a few Couple little paint drops in there, which is good. We don't need to use too much. Just wipe the neck of the bottle, that's always good. Get the lid back on so that protects that. Then a couple of drops literally of the thinner into that mix. There we go. And then just give that a little, a little mix like so. It's quite interesting that uh, <clears throat> the colour 129 is actually, I think, US dull, uh, gull grey, I'm pretty sure. But this is a really good um, match for it, I think. Uh, that's the primer in the dropper paint range. So we get our airbrush. So I'm spraying at about 15 psi. That's what I find seems to work quite well. And let's just get that paint in there. There's very little in there, but then I'd rather do little and uh, not waste it rather than um, create excess more. So there we go. Let's just have a little look. That goes down really nicely, really smooth. Lovely, isn't it? So it's all about thinning the paint, really. Thinning your paint is crucial for airbrush work anyway, and it's especially uh, important here when we're using these dropper paints because we want to make it success first time. We don't want to keep coming back. Of course, if I were you, I'd be spraying this straight into um, a spray booth. Don't have access to that at the moment, just to show you. I think it's just a lot easier to just do a little bit on the bench here. So forgive me for that, but if you've got access to a spray booth, then for sure use that, no question. There we go, and that will just sit over there and dry off. Um, and it really is as simple as that. It's not difficult to spray with this stuff. Trick, uh, tricks, just to summarise, are to make sure you um, thin the humble, humble dropper paints um, with the appropriate thinner. In this case, we're using their acrylic range, so of course you want to use the humble acrylic thinner. Just a few drops, you get that um, semi-skim milky consistency in, in the airbrush, which is great. Um, prime before you... Uh, spray the paint definitely uh, because you get a much better uh, effect that way the paint goes down much smoother settles down um, onto the surface which is great and it just cleans up in water it, yeah it really couldn't be much simpler could it <laughs> 